Yo, what is going on guys? My mom's coming back at it again with another hype video. I know many of you guys are actually quite young. Between the ages of 11 to 14. Which means that a lot of you guys are probably not going through your puberty right now. <laughs> and unfortunately, because the majority of my channel's viewers are from the ages of 14 to 20, I really make videos addressing the younger population's concerns and questions. So, if you are one of those people, today is your lucky day. Today, we're going to talk about the key things that you need to look out for and the key things that you need to do to set you up for your future 16-inch growth spurt like me. And if you're older, don't click away from this video to yet because in this video, I'm going to mention what to do even if you're older as well. So, stick around, you might learn something useful. And without further blabbing around, let's get straight into today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. That really, really helped me out. And thank you guys to the moon and back. I know the background have changed, but that is not gonna change the content of this video. First things first, I've always preached on my channel, no matter how young or old you are, to ensure you get adequate sleep, prioritize your nutrition, get enough uh, healthy food, get enough high quality sleep and also exercise a lot in the outdoors. For example, the basketball court. Not sure if you guys can see it, but there is definitely a basketball court there. And I'm currently outside filming this video. The same things, very same things apply to the younger generation of people as well watching my channel. You need to start establishing habits to help yourself sleep for adequate amount of time and also establish habits to eat all of your healthy foods like your chicken, your beef, your vegetables, and your rice and stuff. Avoid junk food as much as you can and also develop the passion for exercise. And that's our main aim for this age group of people. I know all three of these points can sound quite overwhelming when mentioned all together, but trust me, they're pretty, pretty easy to understand once I break them down into one, two, and three, which I will do right now. So let's start us off with the most important aspect, which is sleeping. Sleep. How do we establish habits to sleep well at an early age? First things first, you don't just push yourself to sleep 10 hours a day straight away. That is just not going to work. So what I would suggest is, however many hours you're sleeping right now, I would like for you to add one hour to it. And we're just gonna try to do that over the next few years to establish the habit. You don't always have to do the first one hour right away. We can start off with, you know, 15 minutes and then progress to 20 minutes, progress to 30 minutes, blah, blah, blah. And for quality of sleep, try to establish the habit of not going on any electronic devices, for example, your PlayStation, your phone, and your iPad and your computer one hour before you sleep. And that is going to help you, uh, help your quality of sleep. So yeah, that should cover up sleep for you guys. Like I said, progressively overload your sleep, kind of like training, you would just sleep a little more, a little better every day. And then by the time your puberty comes, you will be sleeping at a much higher quality than if you didn't start this at a younger age. Now let's talk about the next most important thing. Actually, I take that back. Everything I said here will be equally as uh, important, so do not neglect anything. Exercise is what I see as very important as well. And in order to develop a very, very good habit of exercising every day, what I say that people from 11 to 14 should do in that age is that they should cultivate a passion for a specific exercise. It doesn't need to be sp uh, specific. It can be something like, you know, basketball, soccer, CrossFit, or even something like just running is fine. However, I do recommend outdoor exercise. For example, playing chess is an exercise on the brain, yet it is not going to yield you the same result in terms of growing taller, because it doesn't help you absorb the vitamin D from the sunlight, and it doesn't place enough stress on your lower limb bones, on your long bones, to facilitate growth. Not hating on chess whatsoever, I think it's an absolutely very, very good exercise for the brain. 
But what I'm saying is cultivate another passion for exercise outdoors. For example, you can play chess and still play basketball, right? You can play, I don't know, something like mm, Magic the Gathering and still play soccer, right? Sounds doable. Once the passion is there, it'll be really, really easy to persevere through it during puberty. And that is going to place a ton of stress on your bones and help you grow to six foot. Now, last but not least, diet. What do we need to do for diet at this such a young age? Where you have no idea what nutrition is, where you have no idea of your macros, your micros, or the vitamins and stuff. Well, all you need to do is eat non-processed food and eat real food. This should be pretty easy to distinguish. For example, beef. Is it a real food or is it a processed food? The answer is real food. Ah, uh, I'm sure 100% of you guys would have got that one correct. Next one is chocolate, a processed food or real food. Unfortunately, as tasty as it is, it is a processed food. Now, real foods tend to pack a lot more vitamins and micronutrients and macros than foods that are not real. And once you develop this habit, when your appetite goes up during puberty, you won't have a, you know, you won't have an issue getting in enough macronutrients and micronutrients for yourself to facilitate your growth. Furthermore, if you're one of those hard gainers who can barely put down any food, then I'd recommend starting to train your stomach capacity at this age. Because once you get to puberty, you want to cram in a lot of real good food. Like always, you never have to go overboard with it. Really just eat till you're pretty full. You don't have to eat like you're gonna throw up. That's gonna make you hate food a lot. So just eat till you're pretty full and then drink a little bit of water. Well, yeah, I'm sure there's better ways to do that. So you can definitely research that. I'm not, you know, I'm not an expert in that field. So can't comment too much on it. So yes, that's it. All three of those areas covered. Once you start developing habits for those three areas for later down the line during your puberty, then you have a good chance to grow to six foot tall, especially if you're younger and if you start earlier at this age. And if you have any questions, queries or concerns or video suggestions, comment down below. And with that being said, it's gonna bring us to the end of another Mau Mau's video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.